Hello, my name is Till Holger Borchert. I'm the director of the Bruges Museums and we are standing here in the Groningen Museum in Bruges in front of Jan van Eyck's masterpiece, The Virgin and Child of Joris van der Paale. The Virgin and Child of Joris van der Paale is the second biggest painting that Jan van Eyck painted and that still exists. It shows on the right side, the kneeling donor, Joris van der Paale from Bruges, who is accompanied by um, his patron saint and name saint, Saint George. He is uh, kneeling in front of the Virgin Mary, um, who is sitting on a throne. And on the opposite side, you have Saint Donation, uh, the bishop uh, who was the patron saint of the Collegia Church of Saint Donas in Bruges, of which the uh, canon was uh, a member. Um, the painting is a, a rather sophisticated work that <clears throat> shows uh, incredible details. When you look closer, you see that the canon uh, has actually stopped looking. Uh, Jan van Eyck does, that, uh, does illustrate that in an ingenious manner by showing the prayer book and uh, the fact that the uh, Canon doesn't um, have his uh, glasses on, indicates that he stopped reading and starts in, in fact meditating uh, on, the, um, uh, on the prayers that he has read and he has the vision of uh, the Virgin Mary that, uh, that comes out. Um, in this uh, vision of the Virgin Mary we see uh, Adam and Eva, here is Adam and on the opposite side of the throne is Eve. There are uh, uh, figures of uh, Cain and Abel and uh, Daniel and the lion and uh, so these are um, yeah these are Old Testament's references to the sacrificial death of Christ and the triumph over death and that is a recurrent theme that we find elsewhere in the uh, painting as well here uh, in the historiated capitals where you see, for example, the uh, sacrifice of, uh, uh, of Isaac uh, by Abraham. And on the other hand, you have uh, Abraham and Melchizedek uh, and the like. So you have uh, scenes which are related to the, uh, to the idea of the resurrection. And it is, uh, it's very likely, as I said before, that it was actually painted as a epitaph.